Hello! Today I'm gonna be showing you where I get my most requested Sims 4 custom content. This is gonna be like my ultimate CC list for Sims 4 custom content that you guys are always asking me where you can find. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is the third, third time, third time I'm filming this video today. And you know what? Normally we jump straight into the video on this channel, but le let me just show you what I did twice. Normally, on a normal day, I will come in here and just make sure everything looks good. Everything was looking good, so I thought. I recorded my entire video two times and then found out that I was recording it sounding like this. Who wants to listen to this? Not me, not you. One step for man, three steps back for me, apparently. So you know what I did? I took a shower because that is the only healthy way to control my anger that I am bringing into 2023. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some custom content. Let's, here we go. And the CC links will be in the description down below. But if you see anything in this video that you're like, where did you get that? Leave a comment and I'll try my best to figure that out for you. So whenever I do any kind of create a sim challenge, the first thing you guys always ask me about is I lashes. These are what they look like here. I have a ton of different swatches for these ones. These are from Kajiko. There's some bigger, more full versions. There's these ones here, which are like kind of curled down a little bit, some shorter ones. They have a pretty nice collection for like the 3D lash type and they come right off your Sims face, which is so much better than the regular like EA eyeliner that you normally get as eyelashes. This is the website. Again, you can find everything down below. They actually have the EA eyelash remover if you want to replace that but you can see all of like the eyelashes to download right here there's like the curly version the normal version these are also the most like popular ones a lot of creators use these but the new one that I found that I've been using in more of my recent videos is this one here and this is from dream girl they're a lot more fluffy a little bit lighter looking but very long and there's different swatches in here as well that you can kind of like play around with I really like these ones this is what they look like here for download they're super easy all you really have to do is download Download the package and you're good to go. Very cute and it's nice to have some variety other than my Kajika ones I've been using forever. I figured if we're doing an ultimate guide I should probably show you really quick how to actually download this stuff. We're gonna download as a tutorial this hair here. This is by Sims Trouble. We'll talk about them later. You're gonna scroll down until you find the download links. They're right here. You might see one link here. You might see a few packages like this. You might see a zip file but either way we're gonna click on those and that should download on your browser. You can see down here they've downloaded onto my computer. Next you're going to open up your downloads folder and you'll see the files right here. They're the exact same file names that I just downloaded. Then in another window we're going to open up our documents folder as well. From there you're going to click on electronic arts. We're going to click on the sims 4 and then we're going to click on the mods folder. You're going to go back over to your downloads folder and we're going to highlight all the files that we just downloaded and you're going to bring those over to your mods folder. You can see all your files downloaded in here in the mods folder folder now and that should be everything but if you loaded up your game and you still don't see that custom content load your game back up go into the options folder click on game options come down here to where it says other and make sure that your enable custom content and mods is checkmarked apply the changes restart your game and you're good to go next we're going to move on to skin details and these are what will change the entire shading on the face they'll add like highlight and contour my all-time favorite one is this one here the brightens skin and automatically you can tell like the changes that happen with that. This one is by Linky Sims. This is the Linky Sims Tumblr. Again, you can see it working on all different skin tones, all different ages for your Sims. And there are different swatches that add like eye bags and freckles. I really like using those. Other popular ones that I like to use for Sims 4 skin details are the Symbians one. I have a few of these and all of them are so good. They're, this one is a little bit more like realistic looking. This one adds freckles and you can go in and like play around with the lids and stuff. This one here adds like a whole lot of highlight and contour. Like look at my Sims cheekbones. And then there's a couple other ones that I've got up here too. All of them are really cute and definitely worth checking out. These are some of the specific ones that I've got. I think these are like the exact ones, but you can go onto their like Tumblr or their Patreon and you can see a whole bunch of different ones on there. So you can really pick and choose. More recently, I've been using this 
one here, the Gaia Skin Detail. And when I introduced this on my channel, I thought this was an S. It's actually a G, my bad. But this one's cute. There's two swatches on there. That one adds a little bit more of like the eye bags. And I finally found the link here. So this is the Tumblr. This is actually by Divine Cap. You can see the differences on there as well. I downloaded this one with like a pre-made sim and it was kind of a surprise when I got it, but I am happy that I have it now. The final thing that I wanted to show you guys for skin details is the Lazarus skin default. A skin default basically just applies to all sims in the game. It replaces like the EA skin that they had with one that was made by this creator. The one that I use is this one here by AKA Lucri, formerly known as Grim Cookies. So even in my game without having to put on any skin detail, there's already something on there changing it from how it was. I just think it's kind of nice that it changes like every sim in the game too. All of your townies kind of get a little makeover. Okay, that is it for skin details. Let's move on to eye colors. I have a couple in here that I really like to use. These ones here, the ones that I have on already, these are the Halo Eyes from Miko CC. If you've watched any of my Sims 4 custom content videos before, you will definitely have seen me talk about this account. This creator is so freaking good. They have everything from hair to body presets to fashion. I'm gonna be probably bringing this creator up a lot to showcase some of my most requested things, but these are the eye colors that I like to use a lot. I think while we're here, I can show you some of the Miko CC eye presets that I use too. Basically, the presets will change the shape like in here when you have all of these like pre-made ones. They just kind of give you something to start with. And then I like to go in and like fine tune them a little bit, but these are the ones that I have from Miko CC. This is the one that I was wearing originally. I just think it looks so pretty, kind of like on the cartoony side a little bit, which is my personal style in The Sims 4. These are the eye presets here and these won't apply to like your townies or anything. You basically just use them for your own sims that you make and create a sim. I guess since we're here, we can kind of go into more presets. So one really commonly asked one was my newest lip kit that I got. All of these here are presets. So I downloaded like one full kit and it came with a whole bunch of different lip shapes that you can play with. A lot of comments were asking me where I got this one and I had to do a little bit of digging, but I finally found them. This is the What a Babe lip preset. You get 15 different options here, even though they're like little subtle differences here and there. You literally don't even have to use a slider if you don't want to because they all just look so cute. I've also down here got some more from Miko CC that I like to use. And this one I've had on my channel for a very long time. This one is from Rat Boy Sims. I think I only downloaded one whenever I did download this, but there is another little like set here if you want. That creator also makes really cool poses in Create a Sim 2 if you're into like taking photography of your Sims. For nose presets, I use these ones here from Symbians all the time. I find it really helpful even just to have like a different shape option. And then you can go in and fine tune if you want to. There's some really cute like shapes in here. The original one that she was already wearing here is from Symbians as well. Here is the exact preset. It is number 21 to 24 and you get all these like different ones here. I definitely recommend checking out this entire creator's like account. They've got some really cute things on here. Like you can find cute face paint, little mushroom accessories. Like I frequent this one a lot. They even have some really pretty hairs as well, which we're gonna get to. Next, we're gonna move on to eyebrows and eyebrows. I personally find really hard to find good ones in The Sims 4. My favorite ones are these ones right here. This little set, these ones are from Selang. I've got these ones, which are my personal favorite here. We've also got some thicker ones. I like using those ones for my male Sims sometimes too, but this little trio I find using quite a bit and I did find the exact ones for you guys. The CC link is to The Sims resource for the Selang page and I found each of them individually too. So you can just download those, check out this creator because they have a ton of really nice like makeup too. Yeah, these other ones are literally for male Sims, which is even harder to find male eyebrows that look good. There are some other ones in here that I've been loving more recently. This creator in particular, they're called Go Pulse Me. I'm gonna talk about them in a little bit, but they have some really nice eyebrows and like makeup and stuff. This is their account here and you can just tell that like the makeup is top tier. Before we move on to makeup or hair or anything, I wanna show you a couple of the sliders that I've got. And basically when you download the sliders in The Sims 4, it's gonna add on to what we've already got. So I do have a chin slider on. It's from Miko CC again, and it basically just allows you to have like so much free reign, like when playing with the chin, like look at that. It's so bouncy. This is a slider. 
better here. It basically just gives you a whole bunch more control. Another one that I have here is this eyebrow slider. Again, same kind of idea. This is also from Miko CC. And for these, they'll give you like instructions on how you can use it too. Cause at first it does feel a little bit weird, but you get used to it. Is that it for sliders? No, there's one more. I have a pouty lip slider, which basically when you go into the detail mode, it allows you to like bring the lips up a little bit and you can bring them down. Same as like here, I can really like bring out the pout if I want to. Again, from Miko CC, very easy to download. All you have to do is download the package there. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it for presets. Let's move on to makeup. We're gonna do all the head things, accessories and stuff, hair before we move on to clothes. So for makeup, we're gonna start off with eyeshadow. And again, like I mentioned earlier, Gapal's me. I'm probably freaking pronouncing that wrong, but this creator here, they have amazing makeup, like everything you need, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow. I have this exact collection here. Some of the blushes are really nice. I'll show you in a minute. They even have more fun like cartoon makeup here. I've got those hearts in my game as well. Some really pretty eyeshadows and even some like lip presets and stuff you can find in here. Very, very talented. I didn't really have a favorite makeup creator until I found this one. So from that same creator, here are some of the blushes. Like that one there is really nice. This one here with more of like a highlight. Even that one there, look how nice that is. They still look great when you play around with the opacity too. I do also have another one that I use a lot. This one here from Miko CC. Again, my favorite blush and another highly requested one. For eyeliner, there are a couple in here that really look nice on my male sims as well. I made a Captain Hook that you guys went absolutely feral for and Gopalzni was the creator of the eyeliner there too. For more graphic eyeliners, I love these ones here from Chewy Butterfly. They've got some really fun ones, some like nice abstract looking eyeliners. You can see some of their like recent sets in here too are really nice. They've got some presets in here. That whole collection is so beautiful. Same as like some of these, you can see more of like a themed kind of eyeliner. It can be really fun when you're making a more like creative looking sim. And this creator also has some really cute hairs that I like that we're gonna see again later. For lipsticks, I do have a few in here that I are like my go-to. We've got the lip melts here. These are from Urban X Sims. They look so beautiful on like every skin tone. I love the way they look on my Sims. I think I have a few by her. Yeah, you can see them here. You can get them with like the original lip melts or they come with like some liner as well. And you can see over here on the side, she is not a stranger to making these and they're all so good. Another one that I use so often, I don't know why, I think this color is just so flattering on like everybody. And a lot of these shades in here are too. This is from Mercy. I don't know what it is about this one. I've had it forever and I just always come back to it. So this is where you can find that one. For eyeshadow, again, Gapal's me all the way. I have a couple different collections. This one here I've been using a lot. It doesn't normally clip like that on the eyebrow. I don't know why it is on this sim. I've used this one in recent videos though for like a darker aesthetic sim and it looks really pretty. Some other good ones for eyeshadow are this Angisi creator. They make some really pretty eyeshadows that I find myself using a lot. And these ones are like yield faithful. Some of them are more on like the heavy side if you're going for a very glam look. I like to use these. But here is this creator's account on the Sims resource. They have like a whole collection you can check out. Okay, we're gonna move on to hair and I have one hair in particular. Every single time I use it, you guys will ask. I've had this one for so long and I always forget where I got it, but it's this hair here. It's so pretty. It like parts in the back. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know what like texture this creator uses to make their hairs, but it's just so beautiful. Even the blonde colors, like they come in that honey kind of color. It's so beautiful. There's also this one here with the bangs that I really like. And this creator has also made this one here, which I used in my decades video. Just the colors are so gorgeous. I don't know what it is about the texture of those hairs, but this is where you can find this hair. I feel so proud of myself. I can never, I can never remember what this one is called, but this is created by Simister on Tumblr and it's called the Lid Hair. You can download it with the recolor too and then you get a whole bunch of the like unique swatches. This hair was pretty much like the reason I wanted to make this video so that I can show you finally where to get it. Other hairs that I use a lot, we've got of course the Miko CC hairs. These are really gorgeous. They come with just like the default swatches, but there's just kind of a whimsical vibe to like everything from this creator. Probably why I like it so much. We've got this one here with like the bun on the top. I 
love using that one. This one is really cute too with the bangs. And this one with the little buns up top, so freaking cute. Everything is pretty easy to find on their Tumblr here. So like you can see one of the hairs there. Here is another one that I just showed you guys with like the bun and the bangs. Another creator that I really love for hair is Clumsy Alien. I also really like them for clothes. This one here I use quite a bit. Same as that one there with like the pieces at the front. These ones here are really pretty too. There's some updos that I quite like. So this is a Clumsy Alien Tumblr page and I find that a lot of their stuff is also very whimsical but with like a dark academia kind of feel to it. Like when we get to clothes later I'm gonna show you a lot of it is coming from here. Very like retro in a way as well. We also have some of these here from Aretha B. Like these ones I'm using all the time. This one in particular is really cool because you can go in and change like the other half of the hair. So I recently did a Cruella video and used like one of these and you can change the color there. It looks so cool. You can see like there's a couple other options that they have there for some of their other hairs too. And I think the last one for Max's Match that I'm going to show you guys is from Sims Trouble. These ones here are so pretty. I have the more 70s look here. I absolutely love using this one for my Sims. They've got this like really curly one with the bun on the top is super pretty. And this one here too with like the scrunchie. I think I also use this one in my decades video. This sim suits that hair so well. So this is the Sims Trouble Tumblr page. This is where I found that exact hair that I just showed you. And there's a few different versions of it too. There's some with like the clips at the front, different like elastics there, even like some of their newer hairs. I'm looking now and like thinking I need to download a few more. It's another one where I really like the textures. I think that's going to be it for our Max's Match hairs. I do have a couple alpha though. When I first started my channel, I was super into alpha hair. It was pretty much all I ever used. So I have a bunch of it, but I more recently kind of switched over. But ones that I use very often are these ones down here. These ones are from the creator Anto. I have like a whole big collection here of these like longer hairs. Some of these braided ones are so pretty. Something about alpha, like I flip flop on which one I like better all the time. Like how cute is that one there with the little ponytail up top? So this is their page on the Sims resource. A lot of the ones that I have are older because that's probably when I downloaded it. But even like looking here, like look at those braids. That's really pretty. That's a really nice updo as well. So if you like alpha hair, I definitely recommend checking this out. Another alpha creator that I really like is Nightcrawler. I've used a ton of these hairs in my videos before. This one particularly, I think I used for like a Let's Play one time. The swatches too, like something about alpha hairs, they just pull off that pastel look so good. These ones here are really pretty. This like particular collection here, I really love like that there too. So here is where you can find all of the Nightcrawler stuff right on the Sims resource. This is the braided one at the front that I just showed you guys. We've also got some of the braids here. This like double braided one is one of my favorites. She has it like tucked back behind her. So both of them come to the one side. Okay, moving on from hair, we're gonna do accessories and then we can move on to clothes. So in some of my more recent videos, you've probably seen me show you all of these like piercings that I now have. I downloaded like a huge collection. They're all from Praline Sims. I've got a bunch of earrings here in pretty much every style you could think of. I've got like some more punk looking ones. I have more of like a clean vibe here. I do find also Praline Sims has a lot more of like the edgier vibe. So if you like making alt Sims, which I kind of do from time to time, Praline Sims is really great. This is their Patreon. Even you can see here like their first post, definitely very like alternative style. They also post a lot of makeup and they're really good at making it. So definitely worth checking out this page as well. It leans more on the side of like the more realistic looking Sims. So if you like more of the cartoony Sims, it's not quite the look here with like the makeup at least, but the accessories, you'll definitely find something here that you'll like for any kind of Sim you're making. On more of the cutesy side of things, again, Aretha B, we have some really cute necklaces. I downloaded a lot of these, I think for like the Y2K videos that I've done. This one in particular with the little butterfly, I really like that one. I don't think I've showed you guys this one in this video yet. It must've been the last time that I filmed this, but here is the Aretha B Tumblr. You can see the hairs that I was talking about earlier. There are some of the piercings and look at that cute little heart septum. A pretty wide variety of things that you can download on here. And we're gonna talk about them again later when we get to clothes. They've also got some really cute like hair clip accessories that I like to use. Lots of good stuff on here. This is also like Miko CC where I have pretty much everything on this entire page. This belt accessory 
accessory I use all the time. All across the board, just very quality content. I think that's it for the most part for accessories. Let's go and do some clothing items and I'm gonna try and think of like all of the things that I remember you guys asking about. One of them was this outfit here. I used this in my Disney princess video. This is by Marvel, and it's actually an add-on to like the Inchiana Rivals kit outfit, but it adds more like pastel -y options and other different kind of swatches that you can put on. I really like this one on this sim. Here is the outfit by Marvel on their Patreon. It is base game compatible though, so you don't actually need the Inchiana Rivals kit to get it, which is kind of a nice little loophole if you ask me. Kind of similar, this outfit in particular is one that I remember you guys asking about. We've got the cloud detailing on the top, a really cute little pink skirt, and there's also a strawberry swatch on there. This creator, Trillike, I have been following for such a long time. They are really great for outfits and shoes as well, and their stuff, again, is just such good quality quality. Everything on here you download and it looks so nice on your sims. The textures are really pretty. This stuff looks like it could actually be like created by the sims team but better. Again down here we have some really pretty dresses by Miko CC. We've got the strawberry dress which I like to use. This one here again very whimsical. These are some of the more like dark academia style items from Clumsy Alien that I was talking about. I love the colors that this creator uses. It's very like vintage in a way. Lots of brown tones and like warmer tones too. I find everything fits together like so nicely from this creator too. Like no matter what I download, it always looks cute. And for full body accessories, I already showed you a couple of them from Aretha B, but I did want to show you this really highly requested one. I had to look this one up, but it's the heart purse. I use this one on my Polly Pocket sim that we made and everyone was asking about it. So this one is found at Daisy Pixels. This is their Tumblr account here. They have a whole like heart collection. I have this dress. It looks really pretty in game. There are some like heart earrings in here, heart glasses. Perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. But my favorite thing is that heart purse. You add it to any outfit and it just like pulls it all together. And for shoes, there is one pair of heels that I've been using a lot in my recent videos. These ones here I get asked about all the time. They come in a bunch of different swatches. I again wasn't sure where I had these but I did a little bit of digging and here they are. There's a more strappy style there and there's also like the exact ones that I just showed you. These are so cute and I was kind of browsing this Patreon and their shoes just have such a like soft look to them. Everything I was finding was just so soft and pretty. You can see them a little more all together here on The Sims Resource. They've got some clothes too. I haven't checked those out but I'm sure they're good judging by like the shoes. Like look at those little slippers. Look at the ears on them. That's so adorable. These ones with the little bow. Oh my gosh look at those. Okay this is not a Sims 4 custom content shopping video. I am refraining. Somebody please download this for me though. Another really great one to check out for shoes is Madlen. I'll link their Patreon down below. I've been downloading from this creator for a really long time. They've got cute clothes on here too. I haven't really dove into the clothes here before, but I might have to try it out. The final shoes I want to show you are the Luna boots from Miko CC. They've got the little ears on them, kind of giving like Sailor Moon vibes. The swatches are so cute. I love wearing these for like fall outfits. Put them together with some tights and they are adorable. That's pretty much it for Sims 4 Create a Sim stuff, but I do have a couple more things I want to show you really quick. The first one being the reshade that I use. So the reshade basically changes the saturation, the colors on the screen. It's basically like putting a filter on your entire Sims game. I get asked this all the time on like build videos, create a Sim videos too, because it just makes everything look so much more bright and colorful. You can see like the without on this side and then with the reshade on there and even on like the Sims face, it just makes such a difference. Like look at that hair color compared. But yeah, this is the one that I've been using pretty much since the start of my channel. So if you're looking for a good reshade, definitely recommend this one. And not really related to any of the like cast custom content that we've done today, but I do use this. This is a default cloud replacement and it basically does exactly that. It replaces the clouds in game and replaces them with this more like painted fluffy style. I'm not sure if anyone really notices this all that often, but now that I've told you, I guarantee you're gonna see it in my videos going forward. So that is all I got for you guys today. If you see something you like that wasn't linked down below or we didn't talk about, let me know and I'll try my best to figure that out for you. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.